This looks like the place. I just got a refund and exchange and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right point. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it. Quick, shoot them. Shoot them, you lumbering mountains. Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Fade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision on the job.
Larkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. Grabbing cover! Always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. I should just shoot him on sight, but I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? 
That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Useful. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. It's me, Shepard. Of shot ready. I'm not running from you, Shepard. Parkin's going to regret this. Favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from. The... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <clears throat> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, 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 uh. Ah. 
Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. <clears throat> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sedona's better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Men? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid, Sidonis. That was easy enough. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you.
Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. something. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. 
This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. 